Okay, in this video we want to find all real solutions to this following radical equation. So we have the square root of 2x plus 1 minus the square root of x equals 1. So this is going to involve, involve a two-step squaring strategy. So the first thing I want to do is move the square root of x over to the right-hand side, and that's going to give me this equivalent equation. Square root of 2x plus 1 equals the square root of x plus 1. Good. And now the next thing I want to do is get rid of the square roots as much as possible. So I'll square both sides. Great. And now notice if I square the left-hand side, the 2x the 2x plus 1 comes out of the square root because the square and the square root cancel each other. And then I'm going to write the right-hand side out as a product of two bi binomials um, using the definition of squaring and now we have to foil this. So notice we need to have square root of x hit 1, we need to have 1 equal hit the square root of x, and then we also need those to happen. Okay, great. So notice that's going to give us the square root of x times the square root of x, which is x, plus two square roots of x. We get that from um, multiplying this one into this square root of x, and then also this square root of x into one, and then finally we have plus one. Okay, good. So we have this equation, 2x plus one equals x plus two square root of x plus one. Okay, and now we can work on simplifying that. So what we'll do from here is subtract 1 from both sides and notice that that will cancel and that's going to leave us with the equation 2x equals x plus 2 times the square root of x. Good. Now I can uh, subtract an x from both sides and that's going to leave me with x equals 2 times the square root of x. Okay, good. Now I'm going to move this up to the other side and see where we go from there. So we have x equals 2 times the square root of x. Now I'm going to do my second squaring step. So I'll square this side of the equation and this side of the equation. That's going to leave me with x squared equals 4x. Good. And now notice that's going to leave me with x minus 4x equals 0. I can, we can obviously factor that into x and x minus 4 equals 0. And that tells me that x is equal to 4 or, sorry, 0 or x is equal to 4. Now the next thing we want to do is plug both of these values in to make sure they satisfy the original equation. So notice if we plug 0 into the original equation, I get the square root of 1 minus the square root of 0, which equals 1. So yes, this satisfies the original equation. Now let's see if 4 satisfies the original equation. So if I plug 4 into the original equation, I get the square root of... 8 plus 1, which is 9, minus the square root of 4, so I get 3 minus 2, which is 1, so that also satisfies the original equation. So in this case, we get to keep both solutions. These are all real solutions to this uh, radical equation. It's the end of the video.